So this is why uh, you're all here, right? So the Union Air Jordan 1 collab. Union Los Angeles, which is a boutique based off of Los Angeles. They have a store on La Brea. They collaborate together to bring us the chopped and screwed capsule. And that includes a bunch of tees, hoodies, vintage, all vintage inspired, and brought us these gems as well as these guys. So I was lucky enough to pick both of these guys up on Saturday during the LA exclusive pop-up. I believe the red ones are slated for the 22nd. Um, I will leave the up-to-date information and all that in the description or in the pinned comments. So check down there for release information. So the blue pair is a Los Angeles exclusive. It is based off the storm blue colorway of the Air Jordan 1 and the upper is obviously based off of the band one or the bread one as well as the other pair which is based off the black toe as the base and then the upper chopped area is going to be the silver Air Jordan 1 which I believe they haven't really retroed since um, the Japan or the one where they had it in like a suitcase. So I'm essentially just going to be going over the details and some quick facts towards the end as well as some fit picks. The Air Jordan 1 Union collaboration. This retailed for $190, which is a bit more pricey than the $160, which they've been doing for a lot of the Air Jordan 1 OGs that they've been releasing. I believe it is um, after tax for California, it came out to being like $212 or something like that. Union released on their website, unionjordan.com. I believe all of that is sold out. Um, they might be releasing more pairs because I know some people got canceled on there. So this pair will be hitting boutiques such as sneakers and stuff and kit. So keep your eyes peeled on all social media accounts. So the upper of the shoe is essentially all this leather is just extremely high quality. The, the leather definitely feels like the shattered backboards. I know a lot of people do that like comparison, but I honestly feel like these guys are actually better than the shutter backboards, at least the paneling where it is the toe box, both wing areas as well as the eyelets, those areas, extremely smooth leather. This mid panel, decent leather, toe box, decent leather. I believe the toe box doesn't feel as premium as like the, um, the toe box or the toe panel, the perforations don't feel as good as the toe box, but still amazing. The back here and these little areas behind the tag, that's all this suede material. It is essentially supposed to represent when vintage leather breaks down. If you guys do see or if you guys do have any vintage Air Jordan ones from prior from the 2000s or before the 2000s, the leather does break down and it does chip off and underneath that leather will be a certain suede. This feels like a suede slash felt material. So that's basically what it's supposed to feel like. And the most prominent feature here is going to be this chop stitching. So on the black toe, it is gonna be blue stitching, while on the storm blue, it is this varsity gold uh, stitching. Both swooshes are going to be this nubuck swoosh rather than the traditional leather, as well as this little back tab is also gonna be nubuck. Those are the only two places that I believe that they have nubuck, is the swoosh and the little back tab. Um, the suede panels here, here, and the rest of the shoe is essentially just leather, just really, really premium leather. Another part that I really liked about this sneaker is the two-tone laces. Essentially what I believe that they did is that they originally had the laces be this sort of uh, off-white tan colorway and they dipped it in black ink and that's how they got this alternating. So on the Storm Blue pair, it comes laced up opposite of this, so they both are alternating. Inside the box, they do give you guys the other alternate. So in the box of this guy, it gives you tan and then black as their spare laces and vice versa for the Storm Blue. Both colors also come with this varsity yellow golden um, laces. Uh, that's what a lot of celebrities have been pulling off. I believe that this is just such a killer look and I think I'm gonna keep it this two-tone look. The bottom is just a classic red bottom and for the Storm Blue, it is just the classic blue bottom. Both shoes have this yellowed, like extremely yellowed oxidized sole. So this is supposed to represent when the shoes get worn and they get oxidized, they just yellow like this naturally. Um, I think it's actually quite impressive how well they got this done. 
as well as the tongue. The tongue is exposed padding and the padding has also been pre-yellowed and pre-oxidized. I know a lot of uh, issues that people had with their Air Jordan 1 off-whites is that the tongue would oxidize like super quick. Some people didn't like that. I think that's just like how the shoes go and that's just the natural process of the shoes. Now, here's some details on the Storm Blue pair. Same amazing leather, same details, except the upper is of the bread colorway and the padding is gray to match that as well. Another quick thing that I wanted to talk about is just the attention to detail that these guys have made and it's just amazing. So they did add this thick tab that says UN slash LA, obviously Union LA, and they also elongated and they sort of stretched out the Air Jordan. This was actually a tribute to the Air Jordan 1.5, um, which was, I guess, like a pro prototype Air Jordan 2, where the logo of this was just enlarged, and I believe it said Nike on top. And the normal Air Jordan ones, they do not have this elongated um, and this big oversized Air Jordan on the side. So I thought that was a cool touch as well. So the insoles are special. The insoles depict what Chris and or Chris, the creator of Union, the store, as well as a few designers at Nike. This was their first meeting. They just had like sort of like a concept drawing and I just thought it was really cool that they put that in there as well as made it the wrapping paper as well. So really quick for the people that actually care about the box, really thick Nike box, very reminiscent of the Nigel Sylvester boxes. If you guys have ever had any of those, it kind of flips up like this, not your classic Air Jordan 1 box come with two pairs of laces. They do interestingly come with a Jordan hang tag, which I haven't really seen before in an Air Jordan 1 outside of maybe the, um, the Air Jordan 1 retro during 2001 when they did like the bread and the royal colorway. And here was the paper that I was talking about. Just set this down. I just think it's like super awesome storytelling, all this. Super cool, they were talking about how they're gonna do the chopped and cut, as well as talking about the branding of like Union slash LA. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about the colorways. Personally, this is like an amazing colorway. I found that this initially from pictures alone, I didn't really like these guys. Um, I personally was just gonna like sell these guys off and keep these but as soon as i got these guys in hand these were just i just can't let them go you know these just look amazing in hand but i do think that the black toes are infinitely more wearable um i just am very more i guess as of late i'm a bit more conservative on how i dress i don't dress really crazy um and i think this just like flows really well within my wardrobe they are going for a pretty penny so uh be careful guys, do not get uh, destroyed by resale prices. I believe the blues are going for about a thousand plus. These guys are going for about 700 plus. For these guys, I suggest you guys wait for the general release, which all the information again will be down in the description or in a pinned comment. But these guys are definitely my, I guess, more wearable. I will probably be getting more wear out of these guys. But the storm blue, man, like this is just amazing. I will be doing some more close-up shots. Um, it's just a bit hard with like me moving and I'm currently in a new apartment. So if you guys haven't noticed, yep, that's where I'm at. That's also why all the videos have been delayed, but now it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be doing some photos of these guys. I will also leave a link in the description about the article that Jordan Brand made about these guys. Super interesting, not a terribly long read, but yeah, it should give you guys a background on like all the concept and the detail on like all the time that they worked hard, such as like they had to do this like nine times. They need nine different samples to get the back tab or the back heel, the suede to be like perfect. Anyways, my name's Kevin. Follow me at kevin.img. I post a lot. I, mm, no, that's a lie. I do post when I have something to post. I don't just try to like spam your news feed. Um, I do believe that quality is better than quantity. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be doing some on feet as well as close-up shots of you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.